welcome to vlogmas day 21 oh my gosh can you believe it oh what's that four days till christmas so i am so 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 tired so tired it was a long day um after everybody left tj was here with us and my mom and dad because they're staying with me they left this morning um, I thought TJ was spending the night. He was so disappointed not to spend the night tonight, last night. He was so ready, and he just, oh, I feel so bad. But his daddy had some kind of an interview. So my son's an air traffic controller, um, and he had his interview for his job or whatever. And um, it's a two-hour job. And any, anyway, it just wasn't going to work out for him to spend the night. So they're going to spend the night. Well, they're going to come over here late, but on Christmas Eve, they're spending the night because TJ will be with his other side of the family Christmas Day. So they're going to go home over Christmas Eve so TJ can open his gifts and stuff with us. And um, But TJ had such a fun time. And my mother, my mom and dad hadn't seen TJ since he was one years old when he was here. Because remember, he lived in Alabama for his first four years of his life while they were military. And so they had come home here to Virginia when he was one years old for his birthday. And at, this, at that time, my mom and dad happened to be down here at that time visiting. So that was the only time that they had met and seen TJ. And she kept saying today, she just loved him so much. She just kept saying, I just didn't know. I didn't know what a wonderful little boy he was. And he's so special. And, you know, she just really bonded with him. And I don't know why I'm moving around today. I can't find, I can't get comfortable. My couch is continued to break with everybody on it for the last day it's like really bad like we super need a new couch um so anyways it's really like not that early like I got puffy eyes oh you know what I put that thing in the fridge that TJ had on my mom gave that to me as um she gave me a sleeping mask because Robert freaking watched TV until like two or three in the morning and I don't get any sleep it's a problem um but then also she gave me a sleeping mask and it, you put it in the refrigerator and you put it on your face and it's supposed to take the puffy down. Let's see. Well, isn't that beautiful? TJ had this on. Oh, it feels really wonderful though. I need to hold it up here where the puff is though. Okay, this is uh, gonna be the new thumbnail. <laughs> the cat's like, what the hell? What the hell's wrong with this lady I live with? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Arrow? Arrow. Arrow, do you not care what I look like here? Arrow won't look me straight in the face. So, this is really cold, actually. Uh, it's 10.30, and I'm having a cup of coffee um, instead of tea because I am so tired. Look at these two dogs. All right, now look at these two dogs. They're cuddling on a couch. They got a couple holes that they put in that. That's why I keep that blanket for them because they messed up. Then somebody got a new dog bed. And he is, like, large and in charge, loving that dog bad. You like that, Chopper? You like that? Okay, so everybody left this morning. Like I said, TJ's going to be over here Christmas Eve. That will be special. I'm going to sit here and let this take the puffing down in my eyes. I have a lot to do today. It's cold outside. It's only going to be up to 44 of a high today, and it's going to stay cold until next Saturday. Next Saturday, it'll drop back down to, or it'll go up to 63 or something like that. I think I'm going to plant my garlic and my bulbs and everything next weekend. Um, I might plant some of my strawberry plants. So, like, my mom got me a little gardening kit for my birthday, and I got two little strawberry grow kits. <laughs> I got an aloe plant, so we'll plant that. And I got a p potted polka dot plant, but I think this is allergic. I think this is bad for the cat, so I have to find a spot that they can't get that. She also gave me a big pot to move the strawberries into after they grow. And look at these little mini trowels and stuff for seeds and stuff. And here's the big pot for the strawberries, and it's got snails on it. So, and I actually have some strawberry plants that I need to divide outside, like that grew. I don't know if I can do that now because they're all brown but all right so it's helping with the swelling let's see yeah I think it actually is quite a bit well let's just keep that on now let's just like let that marinate and depuff my face my sister or my daughter got me um I got this necklace from Beth we used to sell pearls together at Vantel Pearls and they shut the business shut down and this was her last purchase from them. And she gave that to me. And she gave me a bracelet. 
and um, Kenzie gave me, I got a couple new candles, and Kenzie gave me this Soothing Body Scrub Ocean, and then, I don't know where she got this, this stuff I've never heard from, Holistic life sc Lifestyle Skin Care, Obey Your Body, this is a Firming Shea Nut Body Batter, in the, also in Ocean. Then my mom throws this in. She goes, this is in there because you need it, Terry. That's what she said, and that's how she said it. Vitamin C. And then Beth gave me the candle Sweater Weather from Bath & Body Works. I'm going to light a candle this morning, right? I lit this one yesterday, and th this one came from Kenzie, and it smells like... Guys, it smells like a sexy man. Have you tried this one? It's called Flannel. I want Robert to smell like that. All right, I got to find my... I don't know. You guys know I love you when I am going to walk around like this. Oh, and mom gave me this. This is um, by Rihanna. It's a fragrance mist, mist called Rebel Floor. Oh, double chin. You like my double chin shots? Oh, and doors open again. I don't even think I went in there today. I'm pretty sure I didn't open this door. Somebody else did that. But it smells really good. Mom left all her... Her. Did you guys see the clip yesterday where I said, Mom, fruitcake is for old people. She brought fruitcake over, and they were all excited about it. And I was like, Mom, that's fruitcake's old people. For old people, my dad's like, not with whiskey in it. <laughs> so anyway, I think it was bourbon. Um, is bourbon whiskey? I don't know. All right, we lit my little candle. I'm going to sit and enjoy and have my... This feels good on my head, too, because I had a headache, that ice. Um... I'm going to sit and enjoy my coffee, my friends, and then maybe later we'll plant some of those things that my mom got, get the seeds started, maybe put up some grow lights in the bathroom and get them going, um, and we'll just baby them all through the winter time. <sighs> and also, who knows some stuff to firm your neck up? I'm getting, like, fat, saggy neck, especially since I lost weight. It's, like, it's like worse. See that? Blah, 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 blah. Turkey neck. So who has some cream? for the neck. Let me know the best thing that you've used to help your neck. I think I'm going to, um, I have a video I, I didn't edit yet, but I think I'm going to show you guys a video I have on ZZ Cosmetics that I did, and I did two looks, and I think I'm going to put that up before the end of the day. Um, we'll see. So, and today I'm going to make bird seed ornaments in this vlog today and we're going to try on all of the trendset items today so stay tuned okay i finally got ready for the day i figured i'd tell you what is on my eyes today look at these little cheap earrings i found but i love them they're like i don't even know where they came from honestly but aren't they cute little stars for today okay so on my eyes let me get you in the light so you can see better I have the Natasha Denona Mini, oh, that's the wrong one. I think I have the Mini Star Palette. I grabbed the Gold Palette. That's not what I have on. I think it was this one. Yeah, the Mini Star Palette. So right here. And this one is a duochrome shade. So that is on my lid and that turns from like green to kind of a burgundy red shade and it has a little you can't really see it but there is a little shit of a shift a little shit there's a little shift of blue in there and then on my lips I don't know that I wore this before this is shout loud uh, everyone lies is the color and it is a vampy burgundy that matches my Look at all that stuff I got to put away. That matches my um, my shirt, which my shirt, I believe this is one of my Shein shirts. And then on my neck, I have the necklace, the pearl necklace just sort of wrapped around and it's more neutral with some pearls that my friend gave me. And then my two little stars to kind of match those little starbursts up there. And that is the look today. I'm actually, I'm, I'm liking it. I think it's nice. I might sit down and have a little bit of... My birthday cake. I don't know. It's really sweet. It's like got a buttercream frosting, but it's very sweet. Also, this came in from ColourPop. I got their lippy collection, and I did line my lips today with this burgundy shade. This is in the color... Does that say bitchette? What does that say? Bitchette. Or is it supposed to be bitchetti? 
Bichetti. There's an E at the end of Bichette. So, Bichette. So, anyway, we can't seem to keep cupboards and cabinets closed in this house, guys. Sorry. Um, anyway, just wanted to come pop in real quick and show that to you. I am getting ready. I am having a problem with this eye, and it is watering really bad. And so you can see sort of my makeup is running. And looking at it from here, because my light went out, I need to do some blending. This one's okay, but that needs to be blended. So I'm going to go blend that. And I'll be back later. We're going to do some trying with some clothes. All right, guys. I got a package from Zoo Lily. I think most of these are actually for Lily, Robert's granddaughter. Um, I thought this would be cute. This is one of the nesting dolls with Goldilocks because she likes, like, tops and containers and stuff, um, like Tupperware. And so this is the Goldilocks of Three Little Bears. And then... Um, we have a little Goldilocks, and then it looks like, what's this one on the end? A doggy or something? I don't know what that one in the end is. Um, but anyway, this looks adorable. So that is for her. I think all of these are for her. This is a, a onesie, and it's got a giraffe on it. Let's take these out and then we'll open them up. My whole order didn't come, but some of the things did, two, three, four. So if those things came in, then I'll wrap these for her. Because we know Robert, he's sweet, but he doesn't know how to shop for little girls at all. So I'll open these up and show you guys. Oh my God, look at this. So this is a faux, this is the things that are here. I'm going to take this off because it's bent. But this is a pink faux suede with sparkle little bomber jacket oh my god is that the cutest and then it's got the dress and then it has little bloomers underneath it how cute i'm gonna take this off because this is all bent you can see it's sticking up and i'm not gonna be able to wrap that nice so um that is one of the outfits and look at this is so cute too so this is just a cute little white and pink with little corduroy um little jumper and it's just got little pockets. So sweet. So, so sweet. I think I got her a size up. I think I got her 18 months. This one is 12 months. So this is what she'll be able to fit in this one kind of now. And this one later. And then this one, what size did I get her? I don't know. I can't see. It's either 12 or 18 months. But anyway. Because um, she's getting big. So those are for baby Lily who... You guys didn't get to see yesterday because she is, A, not feeling well, but also um, her mom's, her mom, they, so her dad's mother, it was his birthday, her birthday yesterday, so her mother-in-law went, they went there yesterday, so they didn't come here. Um, but yeah, so we'll be wrapping those up, but I want to wait and show Robert because he hasn't, he doesn't even know I got them. And I think my son left his shirt here last night. He did. He got a really nice Bash Pro Shop. Left it here. Also left his glasses here. So I'm going to get those packed up for him. Um, and I am just about ready to start filming. I let the dogs and they were barking at the, the UPS guy. Um, I'm just about ready to start filming to show you guys the clothing on for the Transcend. We'll see what fits. We have the first size small doesn't fit me fail. All right, so this is the Pearl BB Dakota, which runs small to begin with top. There is a clasp on here to keep it shut, but it's broken and there's only one side. The other piece is missing. Um, it comes out to here on me if I don't hold it shut. It's a small, it's too short, it doesn't fit. I knew it wouldn't. The cardigan is also a small, but the cardigan fits. You can, you can go down sizes in cardigans, especially stretchy ones. Do like the cardigan. The pants I also did not think were going to fit. I did get in them, but they show all my lumps and bumps because I could use a large um, in these as well. And so I'm not going to get the commando. Um, I don't like the commando as much as I like the, um, the Spanx, which I have the full leather Spanx already. Let me just back up here next to the puppy dog. So, I mean, they're not bad. I'm um, really disappointed in this little top. But let me tell you the prices of these three pieces. Hold on. All right, this is one of the tops that was in a, a price I liked. It was only, it's on sale for $29. So, uh, but this has to go back. 
The faux leather leggings are medium and they're commando. They're $98. I would want to get a large in this particular brand. Now I have a medium in my Spanx and they're fabulous, but in commando, I, I, like I said, I can fit in them, but I don't like how it, how it looks. All right, and then our um, cardigan, we have two cardigans, so I wanna make sure I tell you the right one. All right, I think it's this one, Irene Cardigan, John and Jen, this is $54.99 for uh, this particular cardigan. The cardigan is the only item that I like. I'm gonna keep these pants on because she does have another outfit, I think, suggestion with them. I'm gonna try the outfits on kind of like she suggested, so we'll try next. Okay, we'll start with this little top. This is an Allison and Joy. This has a nice like little sparkle. You can see the beautiful pleats. Um, it is a mock neck. And then in the back, it has um, three buttons. I don't know if you guys can see them. I think I got a button right, I don't know but three buttons and I do like this top. This is a very figure flattering top. I believe this is $58. Yeah, this is $58. This one she did send me in a medium. And then on the pants, I have the Sophie Crop Claremont. These are the A gold jeans. These are 158. They are my normal size in a size 28. They're a little tight in the waist. I um, Too tight to pay $128 for, that's for sure. So I can completely zip them up fine, but you can see this like right here, this coming over the side, that is because they're too tight. So whenever you see that muffin top, guys, muffin top is created because you're wearing your jeans and your pants too tight. It is not. If I had pants that fit me perfectly and laid on my skin properly, they're not, it's not gonna be spilling over the side. So muffin top is not something that you just like have, unless you're very overweight, but um, it's created from the, the pants. I, I see people all the time like, um, that complain that they have muffin top, but if they wore clothes that fit their body properly, they wouldn't have this issue. But this top is beautiful. Um, and I don't need any more jeans anyway. So here is the top with the jeans. It's a really pretty holiday top. And again, she recommended wearing it with this John and Jen little cardigan. This is how she recommended wearing it. So this would be good for like daytime wear, if you're out and about. And then when you go out for the evening, it's really easy just to take it off. That's a tag's in a bad spot. Just to take it off and you'd be all glitzed up for the evening. Um, I really like this. I think this is a beautiful mock neck black top. Really kind of a nice fancier piece for $58. Um, you know, the problem is when we go to parties and stuff, it's usually in the holidays and it's cold outside. Um, you know, like I have a party I can go to on Christmas Eve, but I won't be doing that because Tyler and TJ will be here. But it's chilly outside, so this might be fine for once you get in the house, maybe wear this, then you can take this off and, and kind of be a little bit more festive once you get inside. All right, so everything else she had set aside for the, the um, outfit for whatever, for that gold dress, we'll try that on last, but the rest of the items she did send for me to try on with these jeans. So I'm gonna keep these jeans on and continue to try items on for you. Okay, this has got a very low V. This is the Kylie Satin um, blouse, and it is $88. So it lays really nice if you wanna just leave this out. I don't like these pirate sleeves. Um, it does have the elasticated here, and it's a little bit tighter here. And then you can see there's a ruffle that goes around. I don't know how well you can see, but there's a ruffle that comes around. Um, and, you know, it just looks like a, or one of those guys that sell cigars, how they would have the tight here. It just, it's given me that vibe. I do like, I actually, I like the opening on here. I like the little bit of sexiness on this blouse on the top. It, you can tell it's silk, it feels beautiful. And like I said, it lays really, really nicely. Um, but I don't like the sleeves. And the sleeves kind of look dumpy and frumpy to me. I would have liked just a kind of a normal sleeve on here because I think the detailing in the neck is enough for this one. And again, you could tuck it in if you wanted to give yourself a little bit more of a, um, well, I don't have much room to tuck anything in in these jeans, but if you wanted to give yourself a little bit more of a fitted look, here is 
we're posing everything today where we're where we're here with a shopper in the room but it's a really nice top so I just and I really like the I love the look of this I just don't like the sleeves of this um, could I deal with it yeah but not for $88 if it was you know $40 then I might pick this up because I I think it's really quite a sexy little top I think it's very very cute but I'm not gonna pay 88 bucks for this one okay this is another one of the tops that is was sent to me in a size small this one does fit me um, this is the Larissa Floral Puff Sleeve Blouse Black Wine by Allison Joy, and it's only $24.99. It does have a little elasticated here. It's got, again, this has another deeper style v-neck. Um, and because I'm petite, it hits kind of at a nice, a nice level. So this is nice for $24.99. It's a nice work blouse. I actually have a wine um, kind of corduroy skirt that might look cute with this, unless the wine colors are very off, which I don't know. And it does have a slight little puff sleeve, as you can see, just a slight one, nothing, you know, it's just real little, just a little puff. Nice, nice. Now, she also sent this, um, and this is an amber waffle top in classy mink, or classy mink is what it's called, in a small by Sanctuary. This is $44.99, and so we'll try this over it because I, I suspect, well, this does have a button on here to kind of cover it up, like like a modesty button on this, but let's just see. So I do like this. I like when, I like when they do this, where you have kind of the tighter around the wrist. And I like this color. Yeah, because this was already a low B, so that you're gonna wear something under this, so here, um, this is one way to wear it where you can kind of wear a casual looking outfit and then you can take it off and just have this beautiful blouse on underneath. But this blouse looks pretty sort of, um, if I can get it sitting right, it looks pretty just sort of sitting under here peeking out, just a little bit of a design coming out. So here's this one. This is cozy. This is a nice little waffle top, uh, $44.95, not a bad. It's definitely a casual piece, but it does have some nice detailing with this coming in, a little bit of a puff. It's got the crossover, and, and this one does have a, a modesty button, so if you wanted to open it so that you can you know, show more of what you've got going on underneath, and I just mean the top, <laughs> then there you go. And again, this is $44.99. So, and that's on sale. I don't know what it was full price, but that is the price on sale. So that's kind of cute, huh? I don't mind that at all. All right, we still got a lot more to try on. I like this top. This is also in a small, and I really like this. This is Faux It Up. Uh, who's the brand? It's called Faux It Up. Um, I'll have to tell you, BB Dakota is the brand, $59. and. I was worried this was not gonna fit, and it fits beautifully. And this is a small. I really like this. This is very edgy, very form-fitting. I love the little bit of the sleeve that it's got, this like kind of powerful puff sleeve. I like how high the neck comes up. I would wear some, you know, you could wear something short like this up here, or just forego any jewelry and just wear your earrings. Um, but this is one that I may keep. I really like this and I'm surprised that it fits as a small. I have a lot of different pants I could wear this with, but um, she just has it paired with jeans and I think it's really cute. This was a win. I really like this and I'm pleasantly surprised how pretty this is and I love it with this burgundy lip as well. What do you guys think about this faux leather top? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited because I really like this. I think this might be staying with me out of all the pieces so far. So we still have two more sweaters, three more sweaters, and a dress. She sent me a ton of items. How many items did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen items she sent. That is a lot. Maybe because I've been doing Trendsend for so long, she was like, let's give them to her because I always send my stuff back. 
always. So, all right, I think this one's staying with me, but let's try the rest of them on. Okay, this is a little bit big. This is from RD Style, and this would have been super cute with those commando leggings, because it's so big and chunky on the top. You wanna wear something, you know, tighter on the bottom. Um, these jeans are tight, so it's fine. Here it is with the jeans. But they will look cuter with those commandos. Um, so the top is an oversized one, perfect for wearing with any kind of leggings. In fact, I had leggings on yesterday that would have been cute. A um, little bit longer in the sleeves. As you can see, you can fold those up. I kind of folded this down. Um, it's a little scratchy. It's not the softest material. And it was on sale from 98 to like 74. Um, it's been marked down. So um, nice sweater. Nice sweater for like a really cold day. This is a cozy, cozy sweater. I feel like it looks cozy. Um, I do like it. I do like it. I don't need it, but I do like it. And it also feels like that, like after a while, that it might it make me itch, and I think it might shrink. So this one is gonna go back. But I'm, if you are a little bit more careful with the way you wash your clothes than I am, you might really like this, and you can grab it on sale right now. And again, it's from RD Style. I might be able to tell you what it's called. Leopard turtleneck pullover and from RD Style, uh, $74.99. Okay, that's the sale price. All right. Okay, in keeping with the leopard print, here is a darker version. This one is uh, by Sanctuary. This is Classy Mink Amber Waffle Top. And this is $44.95. I think it was $59, and it's marked down to $44.99. This one, I personally, she sent me this in a small and it fits, but I personally would have liked it more in a medium for the length. Let me show you, just in case you're looking at getting this. It doesn't matter because I'm not getting it. So this actually fits me as a petite person, like it should. <laughs> um, it fits where it hits right here where it's supposed to, but I think I still would have liked a little bit more length with this for tucking in and or wearing with leggings. Um, however, it's a really nice top. I actually have something in this dark leopard print shade already. This is really soft though. I think you guys will like this. Again, it comes in here and I don't know how well it's trans, you know, translating, but there is ribs in it. It's like got a really pretty ribbed material and it is really soft. I think you guys would enjoy this piece. Night shoppers is watching me like, what is she doing? All right, one more sweater and the dress and then we're done. Okay, this is the other one she sent in a small. So uh, except for that one small, all the smalls fit me, which is nice. This is called Malin Crew Neck Pullover in Spotted Peacock in a small by John and Jen. This was 98, it's now 49, okay? So, and it is really nice feeling. It, uh, look at the pretty rainbows. Were they there the whole time? I just noticed them. Um, this is a nice fitting sweater. So I'm gonna turn to the side because I think you guys can kind of get a better look of how it fits. I like this sweater. Uh, and the color, the colors are interesting. It's like brown, brownie green or gray and like a rust color to it. It kind of feels like wool. And I think we looked at this, it was two days ago, so I don't remember, but I think there was a little bit of wool in here. Not a lot, but a, there was wool in here. This is a nice warm, sweater and I think it's attractive looking. Um, I also kind of like what it looks like with my lighter brown highlighted hair. Um, I think this would look pretty with somebody with even lighter hair than me as well. So that's a maybe. This is a maybe. This one surprises me. This is a maybe. I actually really like this sweater and I think the neckline's beautiful on this. It's really pretty. It's just enough, you know, and you can put a delicate little, like I have, um, oh, I think, again, this looks pretty with it, but I have a single pearl necklace that I got from um, Anna Luisa jewelry that I think would look really pretty and little pearl drop earrings with this outfit. I think that'd be cute. All right, now we're finally taking off these two tight jeans, which they're not too bad. Like now that I can, you know why I think she sent these? They're not a lot of, they're stretching the material of these jeans, but not in the waist. Um, and so she probably sent them in the size because of the stretch in the jeans, but there's no jeans, there's no stretch in the waist where you actually need to be stretched. Um, but I do think that after wearing them, they're probably gonna relax a little bit like most jeans do. But again, these jeans are $158 and I just don't need them. So all I have is the gold dress to try on. Right now I'm thinking that leather and maybe this, but let's try that gold dress on. 
Okay, I'm not a big, um, big into this color. Um, I guess it's considered, it looks mustard to me. Did I do something wrong here? So there's one here. Oh, okay, I was thinking there was two. Um, I'm not much into this color, but this is on sale. It was 118, it is now on sale for 94. Let me tell you who this is by. Okay, Rowan and Ryan, and it's the Tallulah Dress in Gold and Medium, $94.99. So it is like kind of full length on me for the most part. I mean, it comes down to, well, midi length. I guess it's like right above my ankles. Um, no pockets or anything. It does have a nice kind of where it comes in up here. You know, if this was a beautiful like emerald green or red or even black, I might like this better, but I don't like this puke color. It doesn't look like gold to me. I mean, I guess it is, but it looks like brown baby poo color. So I'm not gonna get it because I don't like the color, but it, it, it fits nice and it's got nice sway. And yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful dress beautiful pleating going down it and the ruffles and I, you can feel this is really well made. Um, it does make me look like I got a little something extra pooch there. I'm also not sure I like how it frames the boobs. I feel like it almost makes me look a little pregnant. I could be like, oh, I'm four months long. So this is a no. However, I, I would have liked to see this in a different color. Can you imagine this in a beautiful emerald green, how beautiful that would have been? But no, alas, I got the puke brown baby poo poo color. All right, let's do a review real quick. Okay guys, you kind of heard what I thought about the items as I was unboxing them, trying them on. You guys got my first impression. So versus going through every single item, I'm just gonna go through the items that I really liked. Okay, so I think for sure I know I am gonna keep this. And I'll probably wear this for Christmas Eve, we have a little bit more of a casual thing that we're doing at his daughter's house. And I think I'll wear this rather than a dress. But I really liked how this looked, thought it was cute and sassy, and I might wear it again with this red lip. I really liked how it looked with lip. So that was, um, what, 59 or something? $59 by BB Dakota. I don't think that one was on sale. No, it's $59, all right? Then I also liked, I tried this early on in it, this Alice and Joy uh, Mindy Shine Mock Neck Top. I thought this was beautiful. I really liked this. This is something you can wear in the summer too, like for an evening out or if you're going dancing or something like that. This was also $58. Let's see if this one was on sale. No, also $58. I like the items that are not on sale. I don't think this was on sale either, was it? This one is. This was $98 and it's on sale for $49.99. This is by John and Jen, and I thought this was kind of a nice sweater. Um, I actually wasn't a fan of looking at this pattern, but when I tried it on, I kind of liked the colors on me. Um, sort of a little bit more of a warmer, warmer color pattern. So those are the three items I liked. And I don't know if I'll get either one of these other ones, but I'm definitely getting the, the faux leather top. Let me know if you were gonna pick between either the sweater or the shiny top, which one you liked better. They're very different styles, obviously. obviously. And everything else for sure is going to go back. But um, she did a good job. I wish I could pronounce and see her name. It was in cursive and it, I couldn't read it. Um, but I thought she did a good job. And I think I have like whatever, the $20 credit. I also have 20% off for you guys. If you use my link, you'll get 20% off of your Trend Send box and I'll get 20% off and we get it off of the, even the sale prices. So if they send you something that's 50% off and then you've used my link, you will get 70% off because you'll get the additional 20 on it. So um, so that's always fun with Trend Send. It's a great way to get some really awesome, awesome deals. All right, so that is it for my Trend Send. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you'll check Trend Send out. They're one of my favorite to do. I just don't do them as often as I would like because of money. 
Um, but you can get some really great things and I have found some really good deals with them. Um, so in a little bit, we will get together and do the bird seed ornaments. This might be a little bit of a longer than normal uh, vlog, which hopefully is okay with you guys. We're near the end, it's the 21st. I really only have 22nd, 23rd, and 24th to film for you guys. So uh, we have only three more vlogs after you see this one. And then we'll go back to our regular schedule where we're doing a vlog once a week. And I'll also be able to regularly start getting more stuff up on the beauty channel. Like I probably should have filmed this look with the mini star palette and I didn't do it uh, because I was rushing this morning um, or I didn't feel like it. One of those two reasons, but we'll get more of our looks posted on our beauty channel too. So, and if you're just hearing that I have a beauty channel, check out Southern Yankee Beauty. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share my videos and my YouTube channels with your friends. If you have a friend that likes fashion and lifestyle, this would be the channel. If you have a friend that loves beauty, then have them check out the beauty channel and uh, hopefully we'll grow. I don't know if you guys saw, I've got, I, I, I added like 200 and some, almost 300 people of subscribers in the last month. Um, so wow, that's first of all, that's amazing. Thank you guys. Um, and I think part of it was stemmed from the collaboration and I had a couple of videos that just sort of took off with like the Shein videos. We got a lot of subscribers from those. So anyways, guys, thank you all for being here. If you're brand new, I'm so, so happy to have you guys and, uh, yeah, keep sharing with your friends. I'll see you guys soon. On today's episode with Crafting with Terry. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to make birdseed ornaments. So I want to show you first the ingredients. So obviously you need a bag of um, birdseed. This is just says, hello, birds. I've had it in my car for waiting for winter time. Um, I'm going to use some dried cranberries. This is optional. You don't need it. Now you can use gelatin. I'm not. I'm doing a different recipe that I found. This is the easiest bird recipe you can find and I have snow cap lard that I got on Amazon. I'll link this down below. All right, so those are the main ingredients. Then you're gonna need some cookie cutters in a tray and you need to cut some straws, but I didn't have any straws. So I'm going to use these and just like after we put the mixture in, make a hole all the way down to the bottom so we have a hole for when they dry for the twine so we can hang them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and melt some of our lard. I don't know how much I'm going to use or how many I'm going to make. Um, so I am going to just cut like half of this in half and we'll see how much half does. This is a pound of lard, 16 ounces, and it's kind of soft. So I'm gonna go get a knife and cut it. All right. if I should cut it with the paper on. Maybe that would have been a little bit easier, huh? Ew, so gross and sticky. We'll save this. We'll probably do some more. Uh, but to get started, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get my bird seed opened. Some of this is going to go in a, the bird feeder is outside, so I want to be careful not to spill it all over the place. We're going to start with a cup of this. Be right. We got our lard melted. Just to make it easier to pop out, I am going to go ahead and spray the inside of our ornaments just so that they pop out nice and easy. You, That's probably optional. I don't think you need to do it. So you do want to mix this mixture in here until there is no, I can already see I need more, no liquid left once it's all mixed in. All right, let's try that. That's two cups. Well, two of the cups that I showed you. Give you guys a better look. Hold on, I know what we'll do. Good video on tear. All right, maybe you can see better this way. So we're gonna just mix all of that liquid up. We don't want any loose liquid left in here. I actually think 
this is a still a little watery. Um, I think I can put a little bit more in there, not much. Maybe another half of this. Get it mixed in good. Then we'll place those in our ornaments. You want everything really coated. So take your time because the, the lard is going to harden and that's what's going to keep it sticking together. So really take your time doing this. I'm going to finish this up. And now we're going to take the dried cranberries and we're going to line, put some cranberries in the bottom of here next. These are organic, by the way. There's no added anything in here. I think there might be apple juice that they help dry with, but there's no added um, preservatives or, I mean, it's completely, these are completely organic. I'm gonna try one. But not the one I dropped on the thing. All right, so we have those in there. This is looking pretty good over here. I'm just gonna spoon some in. I'm not even gonna worry about if I make a little bit of a mess. It's all right. Want these kind of full for the birdies. I think they'll enjoy these. And the ones that fall out, like you see some pieces falling out, some corn falling out, you can either just leave them, you can pick them up, put it back in the big pieces, or just leave them and like sprinkle them on the ground. Squirrel will get them. Now these take a couple hours in the fridge to harden up. And also put these in your suet feeders if you've got one of those. Now, I've never made these before, so I'm hoping I put enough oil in or of the lard in to harden enough to keep these in shape. If I didn't, we'll learn together and we'll make another batch and we'll see what we can do. Kind of press that down together. Gingerbread man. TJ would have liked making these with me today. He likes doing this kind of stuff. I'm kind of packing it in nice and tight. And I think I'm also just gonna use the remainder to make like a big fat cake, like a flat, just a flat bar because I can put that in, I can break that up in chunks and put that in the suet feeder for the babies. Cause we love all animals in this house. Gotta get a couple of like the little seeds in the, um, in all the little parts of the, ornaments so it looks like what it is okay now I don't have um I don't like I said I don't have a I'm just gonna do this and leave these in like this and let them harden I want to cut these down though so that you um can put this in the fridge easier you'll make sure you go all the way down get to the ground get to the bottom Use straws though, straws will be better. I'm gonna use, put some twine in to hang them. All right, all right guys, whoop, dropping you. Okay, so let's take a look. Here's what we got going on. So these will dry like this. 
hopefully they're good. And we're going to put those in the fridge, let them sit for a couple hours. The remainder of this, I'm going to, I have another thing like this. I'm going to spread it flat in the thing. And I'm going to break it off in chunks and put it in the suet feeder. So I'm going to get doing that now. There we go. So there's our ornaments and our suet cake. And like I said, I'll probably break these up into like squares and then I can put a square in the suet feeders when they run out. I'll probably have four or five squares from this. And let's see what those come out. I hope these don't fall apart. We'll see if they if these can harden up and get to a nice um, a nice place where, and you can see I made a mess. I mean, there's lots of, um, I have water running because I'm cleaning out that bowl, but there's lots of this stuff that fell out. You can put it in if you'd like, or just, you know, add it to the ground. All right, let's see how this does. Let's see if I have enough oil and stuff in here. We'll see if the mixture is good. They said about a half a cup of oil is what you really needed, so, uh, of the lard. And I still have another half of this left, so we'll be back when I'm ready to pop them out. Well, it's been hours. I tried to take the angel off and it started to fall apart and it's still pretty, I think maybe these need to be frozen. Um, I'm gonna leave the other ones on for now. If this doesn't work, it's malleable enough that I can make it into a big ball. I'm gonna make a big bird seed ball and throw that outside. Uh, if they don't start coming out. Because this one, that's what we'll have to do. Because it's uh, it didn't work right. It doesn't really resemble an angel much anymore. So maybe the gelatin, maybe I should have used gelatin to hold it together a little bit more than the fat. And also, I came home, and I know it was Dixie, but I'm sure Nitro got in on the action. I had another one in a bag, in the box still. They ate it. That is going to give them upset stomach, diarrhea, could cause pancreatitis. I'm gonna watch them closely. They're outside right now. I know who ate it because they weren't interested in their food. Chopper ate all his food. Nitro and Dixie, who are the two troublemakers, nibbled on their food. And I think I'm gonna take their food and pull it up because, and, and keep them with no food for the next 24 hours. Um, anyway. We've had something like this happen before, and it, it was a lot of a lot of um, diarrhea and vomit that I had to clean up. So, all right, I'm making some tea. I'm gonna put those in the fridge. See if there's any room in the freezer. I don't think there is. Actually, I wonder. Yeah, I think I think maybe I need to do gelatin next time. So maybe I'll buy a pack of, of just unflavored gelatin, and we will try this again with the gelatin and the lard and see how that works. Cause I think this is just gonna make a big old ball. In fact, I'm gonna make this one into a ball. Let's see, this one that fell apart. I'm gonna just see if I can make it into a ball. See, it started to harden. The whole thing should look like that, I guess. Let's get the rest of the pieces out here. just make a bird seed ball with this one and we might be making bird seed balls with the other ones too. I have a feeling it needs some more sticky stuff. Yeah, this is not going to be enough to hold together, but there, we have a bird seed ball. That's going to be good enough for now. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the fridge. All right, guys, Kenzie and I are half ass watching a movie. Look what I got right here. Somebody got in trouble. He, um, he and her just got in a fight. Um, you can see her face. What happened, Dixie? Yeah, yeah, you got in trouble. And you got in trouble. Yes, you did. <laughs> Don't you? No, get down, get down, get down, you moose. Anyway, um, we got some Chick-fil-A. Kenzie came over after work, and um, Robert's not feeling well, so he's upstairs, and we're watching a movie. But the dogs, were they were fine. They were playing with toys, and then they got into a vicious fight, and Nitro just went off on Dixie, and I had to break him up. Um, yeah, Nitro, when he gets mad and snaps like that, it's not a good thing. He can hurt someone. 
but Dixie hurt him. I don't, probably not intentionally, but he started limping after that. So they've been separated, and that's why Dixie looks the way she looked, because she knows she's, she's nasty when it comes to the toys. She hoards all the toys. She won't let anybody else touch the toys, and something happened. Kenzie and I were talking, and we missed it, and they, they just got into a fight. They had a spat. So then two minutes later, Nitro went over and kissed Dixie on the face, and they were fine. Um... But I think it scared Dixie a little bit. She's still looking funny. Ella, come here. You called her Ella. <laughs> Dixie, come here, baby. I'm going to her Kenzie, oh. bringing her toy. Uh, you okay? <laughs> Don't you fight with him. You st- her, you stay here. You little turd head. Ah, ah. You get your own toy. You get your own toy. Where's your toy? Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. I'm going to do, I'll do my events tomorrow. Um, I've got to go into the office tomorrow, and I'm just tired. It's been a, a busy, busy few days with my family here. They left at 8.30 this morning. I'm just really tired, and I had to run and go pick up Robert because he's not feeling well, and he couldn't drive back home. His son drove his truck here, and then I had to drive his son home and pick him pick him up from his sons and I got to check on him so um it's either his blood pressure medicine or he was taking an antibiotic that had penicillin in it and he's allergic to that it's one of the two the man's not always the brightest all right um I will see you guys all tomorrow for vlog 22 <laughs> We are almost to Christmas Day. Thank you guys so much for being with me every step of the way until Christmas. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.